How's it going everybody? Thanks for joining us for the second half of the Collectively High show. This is the more visually appealing part of the show, minus this face here. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you some of the books that we talked about in the podcast earlier. Also going to go over a few other notable Ashcan editions, um, Golden Age as well as Modern Age. We will kind of cut through all of that stuff and take a look at some numbers while we're at it. Uh, you know, list the top three or four Golden Age cells, maybe three or four of the uh, Modern Age Ashcan cells as well, all based on eBay or hearsay or uh, forums. There, you get the picture. Um, so first, let's see, I'd like to just start with the first, which would be Federal Men. It's a uh, no number, uh, produced by Simon & Schuster in 1936. Uh, it is the earliest known ash can to exist. Not really sure how many copies. Very limited amount of information available. Uh, what information I was able to find was through the, uh, the boards on CGC. Um, so, not really sure the value on that one. Can't imagine that it's low. Uh, next notable issue would be uh, Fawcett Comics Thrill Comics. Uh, this featured the first appearance of a fella named Captain Thunder. Um, unfortunately, Fawcett was denied their trademark because the, the name Thrill Comics and the character name had already been taken. Um, so later, a comic was released called Wiz Comics No. 2. It's the exact same comic uh, as Thrill Comics, only the name had been changed, the artwork had been colorized, and it was the first appearance of a fellow named Captain Marvel. Right. The coolest part about this is that Wiz Comics number one doesn't technically exist. Fawcett considered the Ashcan edition the first issue. So they started Wiz Comics at number two. More you know. Uh, so the next Ashcan that's uh, definitely notable would be the Superman Ashcan. Uh, of course, you know, it's uh, one of the biggest superheroes, not just of that time, but of all time. Um, it's the highest selling ash can ever produced. Uh, it predates Superman number one and Action Comics number one, so technically it is the first appearance of Superman. Uh, the most recent sell, I believe, was in 2012. For around ninety thousand uh, dollars, that's also via CGC boards. I got a lot of this later information through the CGC boards. Um, next up would be the Wonder Woman ash can, and this would be her first solo comic book. Um, she had been in other comics with various other characters as a guest or as a part of a team but she had never been in her own book so the Wonder Woman Ashcan would be her first solo. Um, from there, oh well, yeah, and, and it, the most recent copy of it sold for $57,000. So, not bad for an incomplete book that was probably in black and white with pages from another comic books pasted into it. Anywho, so let's talk about uh, some of our notable modern comics, uh, Ashcan comics. Of course, the, the first one would be Youngblood number one, which was the book that Rob Liefeld uh, used to introduce his Youngblood team and was the first publication from Image Comics. And that was a full-size book. Uh, I was talking about how they shrunk the size in modern times. Another good one to look at would be the Max. And they did several different versions of the Max number one ash can. 
uh, also produced by Image. But they did a red one, a yellow one, and a blue one. I believe all of those came signed and numbered differently. Can't quite remember what the numbering is for each one, but those are pretty valuable comics. Um, another ash can that I thought was interesting, and, and in the higher sales, but when we talk about modern comic sales as far as notability and high value, uh, at best, I believe the the max comic comes in around two or three thousand. Um, the the young blood probably less than that. I believe the max is is like maxed out as far as modern day ash cans go. Um, the Soulfire and Fathom comics by Michael Turner, their ash cans. Uh, are pretty notable as far as sales go. I believe they were a sketch cover, uh, limited release through uh, San Diego Comic Con years and years and years back. And they're gorgeous covers, uh, very limited, and I believe they were in, they were, I think the two of them together was still under a thousand dollars. So that gives you an idea, um, a, a golden age ash can sells for tens of thousands and you'd be pushing it to find a modern ash can to go above a, ca a thousand. Um, so I do have a few ash cans of my own I'd like to show you guys and I'm going to give one of these away as well. Uh, just like and subscribe. We'll be doing a weekly show. Probably throw a few things here and there in the middle of the week but for the most part, we're looking at doing a, a Friday release, probably about 6, 15, 6, 20 East Coast time. Uh, that's tentative, of course. I don't want to butt heads with anybody else that's running shows or podcasts or uh, YouTube channels at the same time. So I'm going to shoot for earlier in the day, West Coast time. Um, so I would say... More recently, uh, you know, a lot of the ash cans that you see nowadays aren't typically called ash cans unless they're released in a in a limited format and sold at a comic con. But I thought this was very similar. The Free Comic Book Day. Uh, that's a great example of like modern ash can type literature. Uh, you'll see that. This one is actually a full story. We're going to get to it. Though. We'll, we'll get there. Uh, this one here, Dark Child. This is a uh, from Homage Studios, which is uh, a branch of Image at the time. This is their 1998 preview. And this is a full-size book. Well, there we go. Yeah, this is a full-size comic. But as you can tell, this is this is more like what an ash can looks like here. So it's got uh, unfinished work on the inside, black and white. It's really just a, a preview, just like just like it says on the cover. It's a preview. Um, but this is probably closer to a modern ash can as far as uh, actual size of the original ash cans and the type of the work that's on the inside. It's basically just a preview, a way to trademark their, their work. Of course, I don't own any Golden Age books. I mean, I, I own a couple Golden Age comics, but they're not Ash Can editions, and they're sure as shit not worth tens of thousands of dollars. So here's, uh, here's one of the earlier uh, Ash Can editions from like the early 90s. This one was from uh, Hero magazine the premier edition and it is a uh, madman comic madman adventures that's uh, mike allred uh as you can see it's in this fancy little package sealed up uh, the sticker on the front is actually numbered so they did a limited release of these this one was Jeez, I need my glasses. No. It's a, looks like a 04465, so I'm guessing they did about 5,000 of these. 
Uh, one of my favorites. Really cool cover. I've had this since I was young fella. Um, so more more recently, I have this from Star Horse Comics, and this is the Rebels Ash Can, and it's actually written on the cover there, Rebels Ash Can, and this is going to be uh, this is more like well, this one's actually got finished work on the inside. I haven't even looked at it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, picked it up in a quick buy and just kind of threw it straight into the box. But yeah, this one this one's actually finished out. Weird. So it says Ashcan Edition, but it's more like a preview where the 98 preview of Dark Child was more like an ash can. Yeah, I've never opened the Madman, so I couldn't tell you what it looks like on the inside. But, here is what the first issue of Rebels looks like. Huh. Exactly like the ash can. Only bigger. Right. Okay, so this one is fairly new from 2017. This is a full-size ash can. Star Wars Adventures. So, a lot of those Star Wars books are really taking off right now. A lot of speculation surrounding them. So this is an ash can edition. It says it's listed as an ash can edition. But, again, looks like the work on the inside is complete. So it does tell a story introduces some stuff and uh, gets you prepared for the Star Wars Adventure comic book release from IDW Publishing. Alright, so here's what's up guys. I have, that's all of my ash can. I dug around town, couldn't find shit other than a couple few here and there. One of the ash cans that I was able to find was this Star Wars Adventure. And I found two of them. So, what I'd like to do is give one of these away to anyone who likes, subscribes, comments, uh, has a friend that watches it and comments that they told them to watch it. Uh, you can do all of those things. You can do any of those things. Pretty much, uh, if you watch it, you're entered. If you comment on the video, you're entered. Uh, yeah, just do anything. Thumbs up. Uh, anything you do will be considered an entry into a giveaway for Star Wars Adventures. I'm going to say that we'll give this away uh, when I hit 100 subscribers or the... 20th of a month or two from now. Yeah, let's just say 100 subscribers. I think that's probably the easiest way to do this. Although, I would like to just give it away uh, to generate some interest. So, um, yeah, fuck 100 subscribers. Let's say we give this away at 25 subscribers. I think that's a good start because I got zero subscribers right now. So, uh, going to give away an Ash Can Edition copy of Star Wars Adventures from IDW Publishing at 25 subscribers. So, hit the like button or subscribe or say hello or whatever you want to do to get yourself entered here. Uh, if you did not listen to the podcast before you discovered this video... I would suggest maybe jumping on Spotify, Collectively High, um, or Anchor FM, which is uh, Anchor FM forward slash The Collectible Ones. There will be links in the video or in the, in the description. You'll be able to find everything you need down there. And... Uh, yeah, it's been about 15 minutes. I appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, tune back in on Friday the 24th 
where we will have our first full-on episode. I'll be doing a podcast, and then we'll try to go with a live feed. Fingers crossed we can pull that off. So, yeah, check back with us. Hope you guys uh, are fucking awesome, and I appreciate you checking this out. Thanks so much.